Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to be giving some information of how to make more money when it comes to selling your items in Guild Wars 2. I am specifically making this video for a few people uh, that I know, but I figured the information that I'm giving is basically good enough for it to be public anyway, so I would just make it a public video. So the first thing that I would like to go through is items that I've listed recently. And this is also going to be explaining more or less what I'm going to be teaching in this video. So you'll notice that I have, I list items in, I basically scale them up in terms of, you know, what I'm listing them at. So these mystic coins, you can see I started at about one silver, 75, 85, 95, 205, 210, 215, 220. And you'll notice that I, scaled them up a little bit slower once I started getting closer to two gold. Now the th the big factor that you need to ask yourself here is how long are you comfortable waiting for your money? Because I list these at two silver, 10, or uh, sorry, two gold, 10 silver. Will it get that high? Maybe. I think it will because the I've checked Guild Wars 2 BLTC, which I'm going to be showing you in this video, and Mystic Coins have gotten above that value multiple times. Also, there was just a gigantic change with Mystic Coins to where they don't give them with daily rewards anymore. You can still buy them in the Astral Vault, but you don't get them for daily login rewards, so it requires a little bit more effort. This change is going to change the value of the item, and I think we've just started to see the item going up in value. So that's a little bit of a different... Um, piece of information but it's something that I take into consideration so if we scroll down a little bit more Jade runestones you can see I did the same thing I listed five for 75 silver 99 copper five for 76 five for 77 five for 78 five for 79 and the reason I'm doing it this way is because this allows me to balance out risk versus reward in a very um, I want to say lazy way but also not lazy yeah I don't know how else to describe it, but this I do it this way because it allows me not to constantly check the auction house over and over every single day. And also I don't have to get quote unquote lucky uh, checking it, checking one of the items on the right day when it's currently, you know, at a high. Instead, I just basically list the items and uh, wait for them to go up and then it kind of all balances out. So say I sell these five at 75 silver, probably within a week. And then within two months, I sell the highest ones I have listed at 82 silver. So in between then, in between now and then, I would sell obviously everything in between. And instead of what this does is it basically balances out how much I earn in total. So say the lowest I sell them for is 75 silver and the highest I sell them for is 82 silver. That'll balance everything out, maybe 77, 78 silver per Jade Runestone. And uh, this also allows me to take advantage of when the price goes up. I don't have to like go out of my way and you know uh, check the auction house every day and then list items when the price is going up. I can just predict that the price is going to go up and what amount it will go up to. And then I can list items along the way so that as the people you know buy and buy and the market fluctuates and it goes up, my stuff will sell. And I do this with almost everything. You can see Mithril Ingots I've done it with, Watchwork Sprockets, Large Bones, Large Fangs, Vicious Fangs, Armored Scales. As you can see, I just go through basically everything and I do the same exact process. How much I increase it by with each time depends on the price of the item. And it also depends on how much the item fluctuates day to day and, you know, week to week, et cetera, et cetera. You can see I did it here with the uh, uncommon cryptus motivations as well. And then once we get further down, it's, you know, different stuff. Uh, items I made or items I found, stuff like that. But let me start showing you. So this right here, Ori Chalcom Ingots, you already seen. Let me go to Guild Wars 2 BLTC, and you can see I have it pulled up. So if we look at the year price, we can see that it's currently at an all-time low. Usually when it's like this, I will not sell it for like a, like three silver, 50 copper would be the, the rough estimate price I could sell for right now. I won't list anything at that price. I will list it usually like four silver and above. And the reason for this is because I'm confident the price is going to go back up and I don't mind waiting for my money. So if we look at the all-time high, this is what I usually do. I determine 
how high the price has been since this website started calculating the data. So, 8 silver, that was a peak right there. 8 silver, 9 silver. Again, 8 silver, 9 silver going up to almost 11. So those were the peaks. And as you can see, it usually peaks and then crashes. And then peaks and then crashes. And that's a little bit uh, worrisome, but that's okay. Because if we list our, like, no matter what, our items are going to sell as it's building up to the peak. So this is good information, though. So what I would do, I have 100 here. And since I already have a whole bunch of Ori Chalcum listed because I made a... Made a few videos and then decided I didn't like them and I would start over. I'm just going to list all 100 at 599 and call it a day for the Ori Shalcom. So, Mithril Bars. This is a little bit different because this is a very, very high supply item and moderate demand. However, there's a few things that are changing with this game. With the new legendary gear that was added, Mithril Ingots are going to be a lot more in demand, I guess would be the way to say it. Sorry, hiccups. So, that means the price is going to go up, in my personal opinion. Let's check Guild Wars 2 BLTC, and we'll see the highest price that Mithril Ingot has gotten. Because I'm actually curious. I haven't checked with this item. Usually, I don't check low-value items like this, because they, uh... It's not worth my time, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I'm going to make an extra, like, 20 copper if I list it at the highest it's ever been. Or, uh, apparently here, 2 silver would be the highest it's ever been in 2021, which I think was around the time End of Dragons came out. I wasn't playing then, so I'm not sure. Um, but we can see that it, it shot up when Secrets of the Obscure came out, and now it's kind of leveling off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is... And also, here's something else I would recommend, is... If you want your item within the week, always look at the amount currently being listed. So we can see scrolling down. Okay, so right here is the first, what I would call describe as the wall. So 20,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 15,000, 20,000, 43,000. And you can see before that, it goes 60, 200, 4,000, 4,000, 500, 2,000, 4,000, 7,000. So, basically, the first time it hits this 20,000, that is the first wall that it's going to hit. And what I mean by that is, the Mithril Ingots are going to sell pretty quickly before it hits that 20,000. Usually what happens is, on weekends, more people are playing, everybody's buying, everybody will buy the Mithril Ingots, and then it'll get to that 97 copper 20,000. People will put a dent in it, and then as the, the amount of people on weekends starts to log off, People start undercutting, and then the prices go down to, you know, where it is here, 89. So if you want your items, if you want your money now, I would list it at this. Because it's, it's guaranteed going to sell within the next few weeks. Uh, and if you want it within this week, then I would list it at 96 right here. Because then I'm listing it before it gets to the wall. And that's what I'm going to do with this with those Mithril Ingots. Because I've already list, listed my other ones above one silver, and I don't think it's going to get above one silver anytime soon. Uh, so ancient wood planks we can see here There's no walls when we scroll down which is good information for us because that means we can list it Going upwards a lot more so ancient wood So let's see I'm pretty sure if I, when I checked it earlier it was at a high yeah, it's currently at a high and as you can see the price over the course of the last few years has not changed very significantly. The highest it was, like three years ago, was like eight silver a pop. And then you have to go back like further five years to get it a little bit higher. So this one's a little bit of an odd, odd one out. What I would do personally for it is six silver, 25 copper, I would list 25 of them. Six silver, 50 copper, I would list another 25. 6 silver, 75. 6 silver, 99. And then we'll do 7 silver, 25. And now we're getting into the range of how long do I want to wait for this item to sell. Because it, the more I go up, we're adding weeks to the amount of time that we're waiting for it to sell, most likely. 
Like at seven silver 99 copper, it might be six months before it gets that high again. These are the sorts of risks you have to take. However, it might in three months get up to seven silver 75 copper, and then it might drop a little bit and then take another three months to get that last little bit, that last little leg of the journey. So these are the things that you need to compare and contrast and weigh the risks versus rewards. So I'm just going to list the rest of them at seven silver 55 and call it a day. Elderwood planks. So let's look, there's no wall that I see. Well, actually here's the wall. Two silver, 17 copper. So from where it is now at two silver to two silver, 17 copper, you can see this is where it starts to get to the 20,000, 20,000, 30,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20, 20. And basically everything above that value is 20,000. So like I said earlier, what that tells you is it's going to take a lot longer to break through that than it would get to, you know, two silver, 17 copper. So since I already listed, well, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it like this. We'll do very, very small increments at five copper a pop. Because I personally think it's going to keep going up in price because of the um, legendaries that they just released. Also, you can trade Elderwood Logs for Provisioner Tokens in the new expansion zones, which a lot of people are probably going to be doing when they want the legendary armor. So I think it's a good safe bet that it's going to go up. So that I listed all of... You know, I want I want that to be long-term money, what I just listed. However, I want some short-term money too. So I'm going to list the remaining 100 at 2 silver, 17 copper, because I know they'll sell within a few weeks. Probably less than that. Probably this weekend they'll sell. So watch works sprockets. You can see basically everything is a couple thousand listed until we get to 1 silver, 50 copper, and then it's 14,000 listed. So, uh... Let's see. We'll do 50. When I came back to the game not too long ago, um, Watchwork Sprockets were above two silver. I'm very confident it's going to get above that again. But for right now, I'm going to... Uh, I don't know how long that will take. So here's an item that is going to be a little bit different in how we do, do our calculations. So large fangs, you can see everything below, well actually right here, 14,000, that's quite a bit for 45. But you can see as we scroll up, this is the first wall, 45 copper. But it's a small wall because then it goes down to 2,000, 6,000. And then it goes to 15,000, 23,000. And here's the first massive wall, 500,000. So when you get an item like this, I don't recommend you go above that because, I mean, you could be waiting years for it to sell if you go above that. The the odds of large fangs, the market breaking through that 500,000 is pretty fucking low. So what I'd recommend is basically list everything at this 49 because it'll get, it'll get to the 50 copper rather frequently, but the odds of it breaking through that are astronomically low. So I just listed at that, basically. Now, let's look at our pile of crystalline dust. You can see there's no walls that were... Oh, oh, did we, nope, that was almost 2,000, 2,000, 4,000, 7,000. So there's a few minor walls. Let's see. Pile of crystalline dust. And then we make our... Uh, we look at the data and then we make the decision that we need to make based off of what we see for the data. So let's check the past year. Oh, wow. So we can see Crystalline Dust is at an all-time high for this year. And that's most likely because Secrets of the Obscure came out. The question then is, would it, is it at an all-time high like over the span of multiple years? And the answer is no. You can see it's actually the highest it's been in years. So since uh, 2017, I think it's probably going to keep going higher because it's used in a lot uh, and I'm pretty sure they added it. Like, I'm pretty sure it's used in relics now. Um, so chances are, yes, it's going to keep going up. However, you have to take into consideration that this item is going to be a lot riskier 
than the other items we went through. When an item is currently at an all-time high, you should not expect it to keep going up and up and up unless you know something that other people don't. In this case, we kind of do. Because Secrets of the Obscure just came out, uh, people are grinding toward, for a lot of legendary armor, and also relics just got a big change, and now people want relics too. So, I think it's a safe bet that it's going to be going up, but I don't, I'm not going to um, take a massive risk with it. So what we're going to do is, we'll list 25 at 15 silver, 45, and then we'll go up by either 5 to 10 copper a pop. I don't really want to get it above 16 silver because, like I said, I don't know if it's going to get above that amount. I think it will, but it comes down to how much risk you're willing to incur for how much reward that you want. You notice the, in the start of the video when I showed you my Mystic Coins, I'm incurring a high risk for listing them over 2 gold because it's probably going to take a bit of time for them to get over 2 gold, but I think they will. So. That is a risk that I have personally taken, and it's up to you if you want to do the same. So, Vicious Claws. So, this is one thing that's interesting. See how this goes from 27 silver to 29? That's a pretty big gap in this little window right here. And that tells us that people have undercut by a significant amount, and the price is like... Um, the price is probably going to keep going up. Or I should say the price will probably go back up to what it is around here, like the 29. But let's check. And this is something that I kind of discourage sometimes. I don't recommend you check for every single item like this. I'm checking because I want to teach you. See, as we can see, it's currently at a high for the year. But it's not at a high. It's not at an all-time, you know, multi-year high. But it is at a high. Quite a quite a big high. It hasn't been this high since like 2017 maybe. Greetings. Yeah. So the odds of it continually going up, you know, much more is I would say low. So what I'm going to do is 2799 because I think it's going to get back to that amount. And then we'll do 2899. $29.99 might be too hopeful, so I'm going to do $29.25. That will be, I guess, the highest that I listed at. That will be the, the risk that I incur. And then we'll do $28.15, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident it's going to get there by this weekend. Ancient Bones. So I'm going to show you how I would do this one my normal way. First, I always check the price, or I always check to see if there is a wall anywhere. Because knowing where the wall is lets me know what my cap needs to be. And I don't see any wall. This is kind of a small wall, but it's not its not significant. So we will do 50 at 2250. 50 at 2350. 50 at 2450. And we'll do 25 because why not? I don't think it's going to get much higher than that, but again, I'm kind of curious. Oh, wow. It's actually uh, at a low for the year. Like it's gone down a little bit. So yeah, it actually may. And usually, I, um, I'd i recommend you do hundreds of these items at a time because it'll save you time when you go to like research and stuff like that. And then you can also list more than 25 at a time. So looking at, uh, oh wow, that's a huge drop. 35 silver to 33, that person undercut by quite a bit. Hmm, interesting. So let's say 33.99. $33.99. 
And I'm not going to list it for $36.99 because I think that's incurring a, a higher risk. It might take a few months to sell. And then we'll go back down to, let's see. You know what? Let's keep it in 30, 35. Actually, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do 35 still. And I can't remember if I explained this in this video or one of the previous videos that I decided not to use, but... The reason I like listing, I'm actually not going to do Mystic Coins since I already have like hundreds of them listed. The reason I do my items this way is because it balances out the risk versus reward that I'm accruing. Because say I list items, say I list these eggs at one silver 50 copper. That's where I start. So I list them at one silver 50 copper and then I list the next batch at one silver 75 copper. Now when the ones at one silver 75 copper sell, That'll be like I sold all of them at like one silver 60 somewhere in there. Uh, and let's say I decide to go even higher and I list the rest at two silver. So now when the ones at two silver sell, it'll be like I sold all of them for like one silver 80 copper, somewhere right in there. And essentially what this allows you to do is it allows you to avoid checking the auction house every single day because you would have to do that in order to sell items at the the high end because you would need to know you know when the item's going up and stuff like that so this is a pretty big wall for slab of red meat like 30,000 at 99 copper the funny thing is i actually seen it above this when i started when i came back to the game a few months ago so we're going to do this So another thing that um, you want to pay attention to is the amount you increase each buy. Because if we're dealing with an item like this, slab of red meat, you don't want to go crazy. You don't want to increase it by one silver each time. You want to do like five, ten copper each time that you list it. And the reason for that is because if you list the slabs of red meat at like two silver, that's probably never going to sell. Or it might take like a year to sell. So this is going to be another item that's going to have a monstrous wall that we need to pay attention to. So first we figure out where that wall is. And apparently we haven't hit one yet. Hmm. The thing is, large bones, like last week, were one silver a pop. And now they're not. Because uh, you get so many of them from Cryptus farming. So I'm going to list all of mine at 99 copper. Because it's going to go back up there. Anyway, so potent blood. Now let's find the wall, if there is one. So we can see here it starts to get into the thousands, but it's not an insurmountable wall. So this one, one silver, 98 copper, that's when it starts to get a little bit high. Also with uh, the tier six blood going up in price, this item is going to go up in price too because people will turn the lower level mats into higher level ones. So what I'm going to do is I will list 50 at 1 silver 75. 50 at 199. 50 at 185. And let's say 50 at 195. And then just so we can get a little bit more money sooner, we'll do that. We'll do 175. Pile of incandescent dust. Again, we're going to check for our wall so we know. 20,000 at 1 silver, 30 copper. So that's a pretty big wall. That seems to be the only wall. So let's do... I want to actually check the price of that. These are used to make Cryptus motivations. Okay. You can see they shot up to like one silver 80 copper. And then now we're kind of on a low. But as you can see, we're kind of... Since Secrets of the Obscure came out, the price has been going up. And we can check the highest it's been. Almost four silver. A little over two silver. So it was consistently over two silver. 
for like all of 2019. And uh, it started to drop. I guess this is around End of Dragons. I'm not sure though. So what I am going to do is I'm going to bet on it going back up to uh, like above two silver because it's used for cryptus motivations and people are going to be making lots of cryptus motivations because they're used for uh, opening the higher rifts and you need them in order to get more um, essences if you want to go that route. Two silver, 75 copper. That is a hefty gamble. Well, I actually shouldn't say it's a hefty gamble. I'm pretty confident it's going to get up to that price, but it might take six months to a year. And I'm willing to wait that long. You might not be, though. So take that into consideration when you're pricing your items. So looking at these scales, you can see this is the first semi-wall. 13,000, 12,000. Here's the first, what I would call the official wall, 85,000. So I won't list them over 80 copper because that's going to take forever for them to sell. Well, it could take months. Same deal with the other, uh, you know. It's funny that I won't list it sometimes for some items, but other items I will. These tier five mats though, they, uh, I don't really like, like they, uh, they rarely break like one silver a pop. Some of them anyway, some do, some don't, but and I'll list these at the wall because I'm kind of curious. We'll go we'll go over the wall a little bit. Because I have a feeling prices of all of these items are going to go up. And then depending on if and when you're lazy, you can always just do what I just did there and list the rest of the items at a price you're comfortable with. So, intricate totem. Sorry, burp. We can see there's a pretty early wall here. Another 11,000, 20, 13,000. So this is a, there's a few walls along the way, which you'll have to calculate. Do you want to, uh, or how much of a risk you want to take? So I'm going to increase mine by nine or by five copper a piece, and then we'll just list them all that way. Now, if you are lazy and you don't feel like doing the research on Guild Wars 2 BLTC, you can always just do it kind of like this. And usually my rule of thumb is if an item is worth less than two silver, or sorry, worth less than one silver, I will go up by like five copper a pop. If it's worth less than uh, two silver, I'll go up by 10 copper a pop. Um, once the item gets up to say five to ten silver a piece i will usually scale up by uh 25 to 50 copper a pop what i like to do though is i like listing items at like uh 25 50 75 or 99 those are usually what i try to list most of the higher expensive items at so this right here you can see the first wall is at 50 50k 48 copper and this is the, the gigantic wall that you're not going to get over. 446,000 followed by 311,000. So that's almost a million potent venom sacks listed right there uh, at 52 and 53 copper. The chances of it going over that are low. It's going to take it's going to take a while. So I will list everything I have at 51 copper because this is right before the wall. And globs of ectoplasm are last. So globs, these are actually going a little bit crazy in price recently. And that's because of the amount of them you need for all of the new legendary armor. Greetings. So, I'm the reason I'm doing this with globs, you'll notice I'm not going up by a significant amount. I'm doing copper instead of silver. And the reason for that is because globs are already at like an, uh, a yearly high. And I don't know how much higher they're going to go. And I'm a little bit concerned with listing them at like 27, 28 silver, not knowing if they'll ever even go up there. Because let's, let's actually look. 
Let's see if globs have ever been that high. Come on, go, go, go. Here we go. So year, we can see that they're at a year, year high by far. What about an all-time high? Okay. Not really. Well, actually... We're kind of at an, uh, the highest they've been since fucking 2017. Yeah, it seems that way, man. So that is why I wouldn't really recommend listing globs for too much higher than what you see them at right here. Because, I mean, <laughs> are they going to break an, you know, an all-time record high, like, drastically way more than they even have? Doubtful. Um, they may, but that is that is a higher risk to reward ratio than I personally am willing to make. So what I will do is I'll list all of the ones I have at twenty six fifty because I'm I'm happy with that price. My recommendation too is never list anything for this right here, the lowest price you can on the current sellers. Always go a little bit higher because from my experience, whenever you list anything for the lowest price here under current sellers, it sells basically instantly. So why not wait one day for a little bit more money? But anyway, that's really all there is to it. I hope this video helped you guys out, taught you some things. If I got anything wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. If I uh, missed anything, let me know as well. But aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Guild Wars 2 videos. Peace.